Macho Man Randy Savage, very uh, tough loss out there today as you did battle with Triple H. He had the shovels out for you, hit you with two pedigrees back-to-back for the full-on burial. What do you say about it? Been so fast you can't even talk about it. Lucky person, yeah, out there somewhere is going to win a silver cloud. What a lucky, lucky, lucky person. Strong words from the Macho Man Randy Savage. Let's head on back to the ring for some tag team action, as it will be FTR going up against the Hart Foundation. Welcome back to ringside, my friends. It is our fifth match of the evening, the pre-main event. You may have seen this one advertised as being for the WWE the Tag Team Championship, but we'll explain why it's not in just a moment. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 457 pounds. F-T-R. I figured I needed to finish it there because the game didn't have a call name for the tag team. It's kind of crazy there. You can't create tag team call names. Anyway, so this match I was originally advertising as being for the WWE Tag Team Championships of the 1990s, but uh, when we recorded this event, nobody told anybody, and that nobody told anybody is I forgot to set this as a title match. So, uh, 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 creator botch is what we can call this one. But we will still nonetheless see some tag team action here today. If you follow these teams on social media, you know the love fest between them. At a combined weight of 516 pounds, Brent the Command Hearts and Chip the Able Night Hearts, the Heart Foundation. Dax, Harwood, and Cash Wheeler have a world of respect for Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett the Hitman Hart has been in their corner as their manager at a number of independent wrestling events throughout 2022. But Brett Hart will not be in the corner of FTR here today. Brett Hart and his partner, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, will be standing in the opposite corner. Two of wrestling's greatest tag teams about to do battle here today in a match for bragging rights. Originally advertised as being for titles, but instead it's just for bragging rights. Nice DDT there by Bret Hart to start the match, followed by a leg drop. So who will walk away with the bragging rights? We are quickly on the road to finding out as the Hart Foundation is quickly ahead in the offense category. Bret with a series of offensive maneuvers here to kick things off. We have the DDT, the leg drop, the flying elbow, the stomp. He's got Dax up on his feet now. Grabbed him by the scruff of his neck, bringing him over to the ropes. Lock it up with him. What's he going to do here? Throwing him out to the floor. There goes Dax Harwood out to the floor. What is Brett going to do here? He's got Dax in position. Brett's ready. He's Brett thinking about a suicide topia. Oh my goodness, he hits the topia. Tope suicida. There we go. Jeez, I botched that one completely. Forgive me. These two men battling it out on the floor as the referee counting away. We are on a count of five already. I would hate to see this match of all the matches here tonight. Not that you want to see any of them end in a count out. But I would hate to see this one among them all end in any sort of draw. I'd like to see one of these teams come out on top here today. But referee is already at a count of eight. I think the referee there gave those boys a moment there, took a little breather in his movements in order to make sure this match did not end in a draw. As Brett tags in Jim the Anvil Neidhart and Dax Harwood tags in Cash Wheeler. We've got fresh participants in the ring as this tag team match continues. Still to come here, coming up next after this tag team matchup, our main event of the first episode, 
of Fantasy Warfare, a match that has been more than 20 years in the making. The flagship of WCW meeting the flagship of WWE inside Hell in a Cell. It's going to be Sting and The Undertaker coming up next in our main event. As Dax hits that flying leg drop and Bret Hart is there to break up the cover. And he gets sent out to the floor for his troubles by Cash. Dax now with some hard shots and a back fist to Jim Bienville. Neidhart sends him into the corner with that back fist. Now with a hard forearm shot that drops the anvil in the corner. Oh, down back of the head. And now he's grabbed him by that same head into a vertical suplex. Dax Harwood in firm control as Bret Hart is in firm control of Cash Wheeler on the floor. DDT time. Dax Harwood with the lock. He's got Jim the Anvil Neidhart tied up. This is not a good place to be for the Anvil. Oh, nice punch right to the forehead. Collar and elbow. Dax has got the anvil on his shoulders and oh, down across the top rope. Into the cover. Two. Oh. That was intensely close, my friends. I thought that was a three. I thought for sure this match was over. Dax Harwood stalking Jim the Anvil Neidhart who catches the toe kick. Nice uppercut by the Anvil. Vertical suplex time. Yes, it is. Vertical suplex by the Anvil. He's stalking around. Nice stomp right to the sternum. He's got him. Camel clutch time. Camo Clutch, he's got him locked in. Could this be all for FTR? Bret Hart randomly coming in there. Not quite sure what happened there, but Dax Harwood able to slip out and grab the legs. Nice knife edge chop by Dax. He's coming back. Fury, oh, but Anvil cuts him off with the jawbreaker. And it's the big time Anvil slam into the cover. Jeffrey there, two. And Cash Wheeler is able to come in and break up the pinfall. I thought that was going to be enough to put away Dax. Oh, nice flapjack there by the Anvil, who is living up to his moniker at the moment. Completely railroading FTR all by himself. Nice Samoan drop. Look at that. He, he is literally destroying FTR all by himself. Bret Hart just chilling in the corner as the anvil is beating on the illegal man. The legal man is so beat up right now that Jim Neidhart is able to focus on the illegal man in the ring, but Dax Harwood is able to get back up on his feet. Russian leg sweep takes back control of the offense. Referee out of position, into position, count of two, and the anvil kicks out of the count of two. What a display of power there for a few moments by Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Back up on his feet, hard clothesline takes down Cash Wheeler. Cash now shot to the gut on the Anvil. Anvil, oh, nice forearm shot. You don't want to make the Anvil angry as he drives the face of Cash into the top rope and then sends him backward into the cover. Referee there for a count of two. And that's all we get is Cash was able to kick out before that referee's hand came down for the count of three. Anvil going now to make the tag to the excellence of execution. Brett the Hitman Hart, who now climbs the top rope. He's calling for Cash to get up to his feet. What's he poised to do? Big time flying crossbody takes down Cash Wheeler as Cash makes a tag to Dax. Here comes Dax Harwood. He locks up with Brett the Hitman Hart. He's got him set up and vertical suplex. Actually, that might have been more of a brain buster the way I think about it. Nice short elbow drop by Dax Harwood on Bret Hart. Looking to hyperextend the shoulder, maybe even pull it out of the socket. Quick tag by FTR. Here comes Cash Wheeler back into the ring once more. He's got that, oh, the arm trap. Yeah, Shayna Baszler made that one famous in WWE inside of the NXT roster. Now it's like everybody's like, hey, I like that. I'm going to do that. I like that move. I'm going to do that move. DDT. 
by Brett the Hitman Hart driving Cash Wheeler head first into the canvas referee in position for the cover and we only get a count of two as Cash Wheeler able to muster up the strength needed to kick out one more time as Brett the Hitman Hart makes a tag to Jim the Anvil Neidhart here comes the Anvil vertical suplex once more and a vertical suplex once more Tried for a stomp there, but Cash was able to move out of the way in time. Nice kick to the stomach by the Anvil, and again, that's two. Oh, nice hard lariat. He's got him up one more time. It's the Anvil running power slam into the cover. We get one, two, and Dax is able to break up the pinfall attempt by the Anvil right in the nick of time. Referee now counting on Dax to get out of the ring. Anvil out of the ring. So Dax got out of the ring. Anvil gets out of the ring. Anvil makes a tag to Brett the Hitman Hart. After hitting that running power slam and Dax was able to break up the pin, saving his partner, saving the victory for FTR, keeping the Hart Foundation away from the pay window as Bret Hart now with a scoop slam on Cash Wheeler. Rolling him over. Is he going to go for a cover? Yes, he is. Down into the cover. Referee in position. Cover. Only a count of one as Dax is able to break up that pin yet again. I think Cash Wheeler really needs to make a tag here to have a chance to keep FTR within sights of a victory. If he can't make a tag here, it could be off as the anvil comes in one more time with that camo clutch. Referee calls for the rope break, but we had a tap out. The tap out happened there, but the referee called for the rope break. Anvil into the cover, and we get a count of three. I'd say there's a bit of controversy in that victory, but it was the Anvil who got the tap out, and then it was the Anvil who got the three count, so I guess there's really not a, room, not a lot of room to complain there. But we saw the tap out, but apparently his feet were on the ropes. But it mattered not, as the Anvil was able to take advantage of the punishment and roll him over and go for the three count, getting the victory for the Heart Foundation. But coming up next, it is our main event of the evening. Inside of Hell in a Cell, it's Sting and the Undertaker. Don't you dare go anywhere. We'll be back.